It was really all the books that I read because um, I really love to um, to read and write at a young age, and I think that one of the reasons I do is because um, the authors that I read. I thought, well, these people are able to do it, maybe I can too, and I could, and I think that it's important to realize that it's not just grown-ups who can write books, that you can too, um, so when you're reading, keep that in mind. Jordan. How long do you write each day? How long do I write each day? That is a good question. I think about uh, two hours. Um, it, can, it can vary, maybe one to two hours. I do a lot of writing um, and editing as well, so I might write a poem, I might write a blog post. Uh, there are a few different things that I could write. Emma, where do you go to school? Where do I go to school? I actually, um, I don't go quite to a school like yours, I go to an online public school. Um, so it's, it's like your school that we have teachers and homework and field trips only. Uh, we access um, the, the teacher and our lessons online. On the computer. So in other words, you go to school on the computer. Yes. You know what's going last one is the best because this is going to wrap us up. Um, one more question. my first book. Well, let's see. Um, definitely the fact that I started writing when I was four helped um, because I had, I had written a ton and I was saying, hmm, I really want to find out how I can get these stories out to more people, to a bigger audience. And I thought, well, publishing a book is one way to do that. And so that's what I did. Um, I think that's how I was inspired. Does the teacher have any questions or comments? Teacher. Don't be good Yes. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, I would like to give you a round of applause for your excellent hard work.